and welcome. This is Rochelle, the DIY affiliate, and today we are doing a video tutorial on branding. So let's get started. Go to the right hand corner where your avatar is, down to your channel. YouTube Studio Beta because everything is going to be in YouTube Studio Beta. So we're going to try not to use the Creator Studio. Settings on the left hand side. Channel, Branding, Adding a, a video watermark to your content is a great way to improve brand awareness and channel recognition. So basically what that says is that this is a little watermark sign is going to appear on all. It says the best format is 150 by 150 pixels. Now you have a choice. You can choose an image and I have prepared an image from your computer. Just go find the image and you can open it up. Now remember the format is 150 by 150 pixels. So this is what it will look like. You can decide if you want it to be at the end of your video or do you want to have a custom time. If you want a custom time then you can then change this to say 20 seconds into your video or You could do the entire video. I am choosing the entire video and then you save it. Creating a branding. We're going to go to canva.com and I'm going to show you how to create. This is the one that I created here for my branding, but I will show you how to do that. Create a design. First of all, if you don't have an account, Go to canva.com. You can get a free account. Just sign up for a free account. Create your design. Create a design. Custom dimensions. Remember it said 150 by 150. 150 by 150. Create your design. Now this is just going to be a simple design. But you can make it any way that you want it. This is the space that you're working in. These are the templates. You can use any of these templates here. Say I choose this template here. Just click into that. You can now change this to something that you would like. You can change the, the wording here. Just gonna put. Okay. 
just to show you. Okay, you can also change the picture. by going into your elements. Now I'm just doing a very simple design here, but your elements here will show you what is available to you. You have grids, you have charts, frames, shapes, lines, illustrations, icons. For instance, if you want to have a social icon, you can click into the icons and decide on what you like. But I am just doing a simple design, so we're going to go into the text. Add a subheading. Now you're going to make sure that it is the size that you want. It will appear the size to begin with or whatever size that you've had before. So you want to just make it into the best size is around an 8 to 10. So that is 8. This is 10. Let's say for the subscribe, we're going to do 18. See, that's too big. 16. Okay, so it will say add a heading or a subheading inside and you just copy that, so select all, and then type in what you want. I'm just using subscribe. Okay. Now, with my subscribe, I am going to use a a shape to show you. Okay, it's because some people just don't just like to see the subscribe. They want to use the shape as well underneath. So, just going to go into elements. So I use this shape here, okay, and you can see that it will come up as big, but you can make it smaller. For instance, just by going like that at the corner, you can make it smaller or you can make it bigger. You can also change the color. So I'm changing the color to red. So now there we go. So now I am now going to put this over my subscribe. Okay, it is on top. You would then click on position backward to the back that will then put it behind. Now it went too far behind. Now it's all behind. You may have to uh, play around with this a little bit in order to get it to be where you want it to go. But eventually it would it will get there. Okay, so this is this design. I want this to go to the back. There we go. There. Okay. So now we have the basics here. And then I found this one in the elements as well. It's the hand. 
and I just click on that. Now you'll see it, it is big, and then you just make it smaller. and then put it in anywhere that you want it to go. And then make sure that you are having it in the right position. So you want it to go to, you want it to go backwards a little bit. So there we go. And I am now gonna take this one out. Okay, so this is basically a very simple way to make your, your watermark. Once you have started an account with Canva, you can check out the different elements, the text, you have background, and plus you can upload a picture. Now say you wanted to put an uploaded picture in. Let's just find an uploaded picture that I use. It will then appear here, and then I can decide what I want to do with it. Make it bigger, make it smaller. I can move it around. Put it anywhere that I want here. Okay, so I'm just going to move this over now. I actually like this one better than the one that I made. So you can fool around with this and decide on what kind of mark, watermark that you want and what it's going to say. And remember about the positions. I want this to be sort of on the top. There we go. Okay, and now this one I am going to change the color because I don't like that color. So you can also change the color in your text. And you can also when you see the four arrows here, and you have to be patient sometimes, click into the box, wait for the four arrows to come up, and then you can move your text. Okay, and also you can change the color. If you don't want that to be red, you can now change the color to whatever color that you feel you would like. You could change that to green. That's pretty bright, isn't it? Now you can also change the text color, of course. Say I wanted to change that to red. And you can change the color if it shows up here of the icon or the, uh, um, the element. So that's gray. I'm going to change it to red. See, now this drowns that out. So that's not good. And the green is too much. So I'm going to change that back to red. And now you can't see the lettering that I'm going to change that to back to black. And now the hand. I'm going to change to green. Now I'm going to change the lettering to green. 
you know, it all depends on what you like. You could fool around with it. It's not something that you can do quickly. You can. It all depends on how you want to do it. So now I'm just going to save this. If you click this arrow right there, you'll see ping suggested. You'll see the size. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. To the settings. The channel. Branding. This is the one that I have there. So this is it right there. And open. And save. There we go. So that is how to be able to use your branding. And branding is very important and it will show up right here on your video in this spot right there where people will, when they're watching their video, be looking at this and deciding whether they want to subscribe to your channel or not. So I hope this has been helpful. And if this video has been helpful to you, then please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you know somebody it can help, please share it with them. If you are already a member of the DIY affiliate community, then thank you for your continued support of my channel and my vision of building a community of like-minded people who believe that sharing knowledge is free and want to work together and help each other grow a successful online business. I am dedicated to bring you all the relevant and up-to-date information that will help you to grow a greater online presence in all of the social media platforms. Please leave me a comment so I can go to your channel and check it out. Find a video that I like and subscribe to your channel to help you to grow. Helping you to become successful helps me to become successful and for us to be successful together. Remember, you are not alone in this journey to build an awesome online business and make an impact with your videos. Onwards and upwards, we all go.